So this is uh, day one of saying sowing our living mulch. Um, the idea behind this is to uh, put a living mulch in the soil uh, in between these rows of uh, organic winter wheat that you can see behind me and then uh, leave that living mulch in the soil after harvest. The mulch is made up of uh, two to three uh, species of low growing white clover. So the living mulch will stay in the ground after harvest and then um, we will probably graze that with sheep over the winter and then in the spring we will direct drill in between the rows of that living mulch uh, and drill a crop of spring beans. So here you can see a little bit uh, more close-up shot of what the hoed soil looks like. You can see because the hoe blades are quite wide it's pushing quite a lot of soil um, onto the middle of the crop which isn't a problem um, because the crop grows away from that but the next job that we're going to do is come along with a set of rolls and just roll this field down uh, to seal in the moisture that's there but also um, to uh, make sure that the little clover seeds and they really are absolutely tiny you can see a little um, yellow seed um, just there hopefully at the end of my finger uh, we'll roll those into some moisture. I just scrape the soil back from there, that clover seed. But also, of course, at the same time, um, you are sowing, you are hoeing as well. And here you can see uh, there's a small black grass plant that uh, the hoe has taken out. And the whole idea is to um, keep the field clean. Now, last year, this field was uh, a, a two-year lay, came out of a two-year lay. And so it's a very clean part of our rotation um, because it's had two years of sheep gra grazing and also spreading dung on the fields, meaning there's more fertility in the soil, meaning that the, uh, the next crop is healthier and can compete with uh, weeds more. And it's really important uh, if you're going to put a living mulch in to make sure that your, your, uh, your crop is as clean as possible to get this living mulch going. Um, and as I said before, the idea is when we harvest this row of crop at harvest time, that will be taken away, leaving um, uh, a gap. The mulch will be this side of the crop and that side of the crop, but there'll be a gap in the middle of this row uh, here where the crop's growing now, which we'll harvest. And that's where we will direct drill uh, the next crop, leaving the living mulch intact. And what's the importance of the living mulch? Well, the mulch is there too. Uh, it's a clover, it's a leguminous crop, so it fixes nitrogen. Um, but it also helps structure our soils, hopefully making it easier for our chameleon to direct drill in between the rows. Uh, but also because the uh, chameleon um, is a hoe as well, um, we can, uh, if there are some weeds in the cropped bit, which we don't hoe, um, we can hoe before we drill, creating a little bit of tilth as well, and then go in with the drill out on the chameleon as a drill after that and establish uh, that spring crop. So uh, that's the plan. Um, I'll keep you posted.